Okay, um, so I do believe my group achieved a full dialogue because people were having conversations, they were displaying their opinions, and there were even some, not very big arguments, but there were some, like, um, conflicts that, that weren't really emotionally charged, but they were still, like, conflicting, um, opinions that people kind of argued out, but in a, but in a very classy manner, I guess I would say. Um... My dynamics of the group is it was very diverse. You had people from all walks of life, different races, different ethnic backgrounds. Um, actually, there were. It wasn't really ethnically diverse because you had it was probably um, ninety percent Caucasian or white or whatever, and um, the rest of it were like minority groups, and so the ethnicity wasn't really diverse and neither were the races because it was um and were the races and i would say that i was an active voice in my dialogue so yeah there were active voices in it but and there were only a couple i talked i talked a lot um and there were a f maybe three or four other people who talked um frequently but as far as people like, uh, like, generously offering their opinions, it was kind of, it wasn't very talkative, I would say. I mean, people just mostly sat there and just um, listened instead of having, like, actual conversation with, conversations with other people. But there were enough people to where it wasn't awkward. Um... I, like yeah, yeah. Like I just said, there were a lot of just reserved voices. Like maybe they were too shy to speak up, or maybe they just they just didn't want to be there, or they didn't just, or, or they didn't want to disagree with somebody else. But there were a lot of people who just didn't talk up, and it, and it was mostly about like eighty percent of the people who just didn't talk up. But 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 the conversation just kept flowing because the people who did talk up talk um talked frequently, and also the um the people who were running it they were really good they were really nice, and they offered their opinion whenever there was like a little gap in the conversation or whatever, and um the role that I played in the group I was more so like, because it was the heterosexual norms and not so heterosexual, um. Society. And I was, I guess, because I'm, I'm a homosexual, so I guess that I was, like, the, the arguer for the other side. I was giving my side of the story and how I felt, and, um, and I was the only one who was open about it. And, which I really didn't face too much conflict when, when playing the role that I was, because it wasn't... It wasn't a very emotionally charged group. So. Why do I think the dialogue is a component of Library 100? <coughs> I honestly think because it gets students like communicating with one another and it just gets us talking to one another and it also opens us to to looking at other things differently than we would if we didn't go. Like it all. It opens up some minds that may have been closed before, and I do see it as a useful, t like as a useful tool, in in the university because it's like forcing us not to stay in our cliques, and forcing us not to be like, to and forcing us to not remain ignorant anymore. I should say, like. It just it just makes us open our mind and it makes us talk about things that makes us, that makes us uncomfortable. Um, but all in all, I enjoyed it because it allowed, it allowed like me and my peers to actually have a conversation that wasn't academically related or anything like that, and it was just a good, it was just a good conversation to have, especially coming in not knowing anybody. I thought it was pretty, I thought it was pretty nice just to be able to talk about some like risky things like, like this in, um, in such like a southern culture, and... And I just I just appreciated having the opportunity to do it, but it wasn't the easiest thing though. Like I guess it was kind of 
it's kind of difficult for most people because like they're not used to talking about this kind of thing because to some people it's really uncomfortable like because I could tell like just being in the blog I'm um, just being in the dialogue it was really uncomfortable for some people just to even discuss let alone like have a full-blown conversation about and so it was really like uncomfortable for them which which I guess in a way can be good it can be bad because then it could just like add fuel to the fire or it can just like bring in to reality and be um and just realize that this is how life is and life isn't everything that's in your head um, well in all i liked it i liked my dialogue i liked my group i loved my leaders they were really um i don't know their names but they were really fun to be with and they were really talkative and they really kind of led the conversation of what a leader should do so thank you